Let's cross over to Doha now and get more insight on the finals lined up tonight. I'm joined by CGTN's Mohamed Abubakar. Mohamed, this will be the first World Championships 5,000 meters final since 2005 without a six-time world champion Mo Farah. How do you see tonight's final unfolding? Correct. This year, Mo Farah is missing. Uh, he's not here, so the, the, it's open for anyone. This is a tough one to call. The, uh, it's, 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 it's going to be a new era now in the 5,000 meter finals. We have uh, a lot of favorites, though. We have uh, Kenyan born uh, American Paul Shalimo, who is the Olympic silver medalist uh, from uh, Rio 2016. And of course, he won bronze in the last edition in London 2017. He's hungry, he's back from injury. He feels really, really good. And you could tell he exudes so much much confidence going into tonight's final that's about to begin anytime from now he's hungry he's been so close to the gold and he feels that this is uh, his time but he's going to be facing tough competition from the Ethiopians because Idris Mukhtar who is the defending champion uh, winning in London the gold medal in London that is so he'll be defending his uh, his title today or rather tonight uh, so uh, you know there's a, there's a lot of pressure individually as well when you try uh, to defend your title so he's not going to let it easy for uh, the rest because he's proven that he could actually beat the best when uh, he finished ahead of Mo Farah in 2017 to take the gold. We have the likes of uh, Haley Bekele and uh, Selimon uh, Barrega who uh, are the two current fastest uh, in this uh, event, the 5,000 meters. They're the fastest in 2019 so they also have a chance as well and not, let's not forget the Kenyans are also there. So it's going to be basically a battle between uh, America and Africa for, for the 5,000 meters. Beatrice. Well, the women's 3,000 meters steeple chase final follows immediately after the 5,000 meters final. Do you see the title coming back to Africa this year? Oh yeah, I mean you can tell from the Kenyan camp they really want to make things right because in 2017 in Kenyan standards it was a calamity uh, they lost the first two sports to uh, sp uh, sports to Americans Emma Coburn and her compatriot Courtney they took one and two and Hiving uh, Kieng was uh, the bronze medalist in 2017 and of course the other Kenyans were fi finished fourth and fifth so they really really want to reclaim that status that steeple chase uh, 3000 meter steeple chase belongs to Kenya so the plan here for the Kenyans is actually a clean sweep today but then again it is a, a battle between the Americans and the Kenyans for the 3,000 meter uh, steeplechase the women's final right and Mohammed there will be two more finals involving Africans later tonight the women's 800 meters and the men's 400 meters hurdles anyone in particular to look out for well yes uh, I forgot to mention, in the 3,000 meters uh, steeplechase, Beatrice Chepkoech is a strong favorite, by the way. So a lot to look forward to in the 3,000 meters as well for the steeplechase. She's been unbeaten this year, winning uh, 15 out of 17 races, including heats, of course. So a lot to look forward to. More Africans. We have Ugandans in the 800 meter finals, in the women's uh, final, that is. And Eunice Sum, who uh, won gold in 2013, won bronze in 2015. But she's had a dip since then. She's back now. She's in the final. She's very, very happy that she's made it to the final. And she hopes to actually uh, uh, make something good come out of uh, this final today as she tries to revive uh, her career. In the 400 meters hurdles for the men's final, we have an is interesting prospect here. An Algerian has made the final, Abdul Malik Lahulu. He is the current African Games uh, champion. He actually was victorious about a month ago uh, in Morocco. So exciting for Algeria and North Africa as well. Africa in general. It's going to be a very, very interesting next two hours uh, for Africa for, for the finals tonight. Beatrice. Mohamed Abubakar joining us there from Doha at the championships. Thank you.